Welcome back, everybody, to another edition of Historical Geocaching on the Road with Geocacher T.N. Fodbug from Chattanooga, Tennessee, currently visiting Greenfield Village, an awesome outdoor history museum located in Dearborn, Michigan. Right now, I am about to visit the Liberty Craftworks District of Greenfield Village, where they have a lot of arts and crafts like pottery and glass blowing and printing and all sorts of cool stuff. Come along with me as I discover more of Greenfield Village's awesomeness. First, let's check out this really cool Larranger grist mill that was built back in 1830. Edward Loranger built this grist mill in 1832 and operated it until he was 91 years old. A huge water wheel, like the one currently present, provided the power for the operation to run. It was a revolutionary way of doing things, but very efficient, and the idea of using elevators and conveyors rather than shovels and sweat to grind grain soon caught on. This particular mill was originally located in Monroe, Michigan. Let's go on into the weaving shop. Hello. Hello. Welcome to the weaving shop. Thank you. Here you can see how textiles are made and different types of looms that have been used in different stages of history. Okay. This one right here is our colonial looming. Show you how this works. All right. If you look at the floor near my feet, you can see that there are two different treadles. I step down on a treadle that raises and lowers the shaft harnesses right here. It creates an opening in these threads that run up and down. These are called the warp threads. Okay. A R P. With that open, I can take this shuttle in my hand. What this does is it carries the weft material from right to left. Okay. Wow. Left through there. Knead it down. 
compresses it to make sure that it's nice and tight. And I need to do the same thing on the other side. And now, I'm stepping on the opposite treadle, and that alternates the warp threads that were raised and loaded. Okay. And that way, the left gets interlocked in the wood. Okay. That's how we think works on them like this. Neat, thank you. Yeah. Well, that pottery shop was pretty cool. Let's check out this really cool um, trip sawmill. It was built in around 1850 in Tipton, Michigan. Well, that sawmill was pretty cool. Let's check out the printing and tin offices. Our press is in here range from 1858 to 1890. Uh, these are all manually powered presses in our setting that they more than meet the needs of the community. Um, the Washington here was invented in 1820, at 21. We know the bill here on it's 1858 by the serial number stamped on the face plate. You literally could start your business with this press alone. It could do a broad sheet, it could do a single sheet of newsprint, or we can use it in the format of a job press. Right now we have just one small plate centered in the bed, but we could fill the areas with various size jobs. Just switch up the size of stock we're using, and in an hour's time, the journeyman and an apprentice are going to have 250 of each of those jobs done, hanging up and drawing. The next day, they would have been cut and started. So for, for our little place in history, these simple machines do, do fill the needs of the community. Shop. You'll also notice two types of furnaces at 2100 degrees. It's very close to the But you can't anywhere from working with the beautiful iron green thing. It's kind of an emerald green uh, once it cools off.
well that about wraps up my Liberty Craft Works footage. I hope you enjoyed seeing the different arts and crafts they practice here in Greenfield Village. I, know that I certainly enjoyed it. Um, yeah, so thank you so much for watching. If this is the first time you've watched any of my videos, be, be sure to hit that subscribe button because I post videos each and every week of me visiting historical locations all across the nation, like here at Greenfield Village. So. Be sure, to, well, be sure to check out all of my videos at um, youtube.com slash tnphotobug. And until next time, this is Geocacher TN Photobug signing out. I'm Indeed Abby. A blast with the past.